Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Sky Nicholson, um, whitewashed. Linda Lecker um, of, I think she's from Canada. She is a former uh, WBA super flyweight champ. And so Sky now has a former champ on her resume. However, um, let's bear in mind that Linda Laura Lecker, to give her full name, um, she was briefly WBA Superfly champ, but uh, Sky is a featherweight, and Sky in the ring clearly dwarfed the opponent. Um, Linda looked like she was boxing way out of her division. She was quite thick around the middle, not fat, but you know what I mean. There was a bit of a bit of meat there. Short lady, and about looked, looked like she was about five two. Sky is about five six, five five, five six, something like that. Um, and Sky just toyed with her. It was that simple. She won every round easily. Um, it was an eight rounder. I was interested to watch this fight because in her previous fight, Sky fought Tanya Alvarez, who was undefeated. She had seven wins, no draws, no defeats. And Tanya did not look like she'd ever seen a boxing ring in her life. She was the most, the crudest undefeated, quote unquote, prospect. I think I can, I can ever remember seeing. I probably have seen others, but. But, I mean, she, she was getting hit regularly. I mean, Sky couldn't miss her. Sky's a southpaw. And Tanya just walked after Sky, bolt upright, no defence. And you thought, well, this is a one or two rounder. And in fact, she dragged Sky into the trenches. And Sky, uh, you know, uh, she was being she ended up being hit quite a bit. She looked exhausted at the end of that 10 rounder. She picked up a WBC silver featherweight uh, belt, which got her a ranking. But it was not an impressive performance by Sky. It just wasn't because Tanya Alvarez looked so crude. It was unbelievable. Um, I was really shocked. And But I was even more shocked that Sky had problems with her. And OK, you can say Alvarez was very, very, um, you know, unorthodox and difficult to read and didn't seem to know what she was doing, which makes her <laughs> incredibly difficult to fight. But come on, if you're hitting someone cleanly and you can't discourage her and the girl, the, the opponent's got no sort of... Um, no idea how to defend herself, no idea what to do, um, was pouring with her punches and slapping. I mean, you, you should be getting rid of people like that if, if you've got world-class pretensions. And I know that the women's code has a far shallower talent pool, but even so, it was quite revealing, I think, that fight. Um, and it showed to me that Sky, with her sort of southpaw stance, paused with the jab an awful lot. When she fires the backhand, sometimes she's out of range. She tends to sort of, it seems to be a bit mechanical. It's it's not sharp. It's, it's It doesn't look to have much power on it. She's all sort of pouring, jab, jab. When you're getting close, bang the right hand in without any real power. But anyway, let's come to Linda, Linda Lecker. Uh, because Linda Lecker can box. She clearly had some ability. Uh, but she couldn't do anything with Sky because she was too small. And she's also, you know, she's 15 wins, six, six defeats and two draws coming in. She only be stopped once about nine years ago, I think it was. Um, but she'd only won two out of her last six. So this was a case of, you know, this will be a nice little late rounder for Sky. She'll get a, a former champ's name on her record and she'll win every round. Well, Sky did that. You know, Sky, Sky boxes fine. You know, she's she sticks the jab out and pause with it and sort of it's a range finder but there is something about her. I don't, I, perhaps it's because she had so many amateur bouts I think, I think it's well over a hundred or it's one of the commentators said she'd had 170 bouts I think it was Sonny Edwards who was commentating who did, actually did very good very good commentary throughout this before the bell section of of the card from Cardiff he said oh she's had 170 bouts and you know as an amateur and I'm thinking. Well, I didn't realize, realize it was that much. I know she was she was an Olympian, Sky, and but it, maybe she was too long in the in the amateur code. Maybe she was because she boxes and with someone who's so much smaller and shorter and is you know perhaps past their best. Yeah, she can she can win every round. But she's 27 now, Sky. Um, Lecker 34, probably picking up paychecks. But if Sky is serious about world honors and dominating a division. Um, I mean, bear in mind, she's at featherweight. Amanda Serrano's at featherweight. Who do you think is going to win out of Sky and Amanda Serrano? Have a, have a wild guess. You know, Erica Cruz, Erica Cruz-Hernandez, full name. Um, she's 15 wins, two defeats. 
good fighter. Sarah Mafood, twelve wins and a one defeat. Um, it, this you know, there's if if Sky is going to base herself in Britain, I don't know whether she does. She sort of flits from Australia to Britain, but uh, Raven Chapman is um, six nil at the moment. Maybe that'd be a fight. Maybe that'd be an option. You know, a Commonwealth title defence. Sky is the Commonwealth champion. Um, but to Eddie Hearn after the fight was saying, well, you know, let's move her up now. And interestingly, Sky's um, trainer, Eddie Lamb, he said, hang on a minute. No, 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 no. I'd like, I want more time in the gym. And Hearn was like, no, 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 no. And she, you know, once you've had six, seven fights in the women's code, you can move up. Um, I'd listen to the trainer uh, because Sky does seem to have that. It's not just the fact that her style is very it smacks very much of the amateur code but her mentality seems to be like she's still got one foot in the amateurs she's actually talked about going back to the olympics and fighting and trying to win the gold medal which she didn't get um so i think i think the jury is out on sky nicholson she's very charismatic a very attractive girl um photogenic very you know comes across great in interviews seems like a real like girl next door there's plenty to promote there you know she'll have loads of fans um but in terms of you know fighting people like Amanda Serrano, not, not yet. Maybe not ever, but certainly not yet. Um, no, I'd, I'd have her making a couple of defences of the Commonwealth belt. And yeah, she's working on things in the gym, but there are too many amateur traits there. And I suspect they are as much mental and psychological as they are physical. I don't know how long she's been with Eddie Lamb for, but I'm wondering if perhaps a change, not a, ch a change of trainer. I don't know. I shouldn't say that because I don't know enough about it, but sometimes you can get into a groove, into a routine, into, you know, dare I say it, a rut. And I'd like to see Sky do a bit more, do something different, shake it up a bit, go in there with, in 10 rounds. I mean, the Alvarez fight, although Alvarez, it was shocking to see Alvarez give Sky any kind of problem whatsoever. You need to be tested. You need to be to discover, you know, what, how good am I actually? How far can I go? Sky talks about winning belts in multiple divisions. OK, fair enough. But, you know, it's good to have ambitions. It's good to have an ego as long as you control it. It's good to, you know, reach for the stars or however you want to phrase it. But you've got to have the you've got to be prepared and you've got to have the tools to do it. Otherwise, it could be problematic. So I know I'm, I'm a big fan of Sky. It sounds like I'm, I mean I'm giving this criticism. Hopefully it's in a constructive sense because I do like her. I like watching her. I think, I think she's got that attractive sort of fencing style. Again, quite amateurish, but I'm, it's, it's kind of frustrate, frustrating watching her because she's. You think there's more to come. She's got gears to go through, but she's not going to do it unless she has. She's in with someone who can give her problems. You know, questions to answer, a few problems to solve. She hasn't had that yet. It, apart from against Alvarez, who wasn't in any, it didn't look to me like a boxer. She looked like looked like a white collar fighter, and yet she gave Sky problems. So, yeah, I mean, it's very, very, very strange. Very strange cases. I'm not sure what the answer is. What do you think? Um, you, you know, leave your comments below. I'm, I'm eager to. A lot of you Aussie fans, you know, you'll know Sky perhaps better than I will. I've seen all her pro fights. She's seven nil now. So when I mean, she hasn't got a defeat, uh, hasn't got a knockout on her record. Um, so tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Um, yeah. And thanks, of course, for your time. As always, subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the like button as well. And yeah, I look forward to your comments. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.